Why do you think the Habs called up Nicolas De Laurier instead of Daniel Carr? They wanted an identity on their fourth line, right? They, and, and I get it. They wanted some life injected in that lineup. Uh, but I go to every Rocket home game in Laval, and in my opinion, they needed goals more than an identity. I get it. De Laurier flies in the ice and he hits everything that moves. Daniel Carr goes to the net and he scores goals. So he wanted to inject life in his lineup, but I think it's a missed opportunity. Cool. And, and even then, you don't have to play Daniel Carr in your fourth line. He can play up the lineup. It's not like everyone's scoring in abundance mm -hmm. right now and you can't find a spot for him. So I, I think they just want to reward a guy that worked hard, but Carr also works hard. And he goes to the net. He's, he's essentially Gallagher in the AHL. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I mean, the, the team that scores the most goals wins still. Whatever your identity is on the fourth line. And Daniel Carr, say, driving the net and, and putting it in. And then you know, they call up Deloria in the first game. He had, what, six shifts and five minutes of ice time. Got in a fight, won the fight, did nothing for the team. In fact, it... Coyotes got all the momentum off the fight, as close yeah, as Julian but, said. But that's but, not his fault. There, no, right? no. Yeah. but I mean, some people, I think, took that out of context when Julian said that. I think they thought he was knocking the kid. I don't think he was knocking the kid at all. I think he was just stating reality that the fight happened and the other team had the momentum. And I think that says more about the other guys on the bench as opposed to Deloria. But Knuckles knows more about that stuff than I do. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I like Ty. I wish they brought him up and gave him an opportunity. But it's nice to see the kid Deloria get the chance. Canadians don't have anybody that hits, mm -hmm. except for little guys. So... <laughs> He does add a little size and he can skate. They tried the size thing with King and Martinson. Martinson could skate, King couldn't. But again, uh, they wanted somebody to come out and play physical, and uh, he can do that. Now, I'd much rather see a guy like King here because, uh, I mean, okay. oh, <laughs> God. Uh, listen, he's put the numbers up down there. Uh, and what's that say? What are kids down there? playing their heart out, they don't get called up uh, when they start putting points on the board, especially for a team who can't they score. Can't score. They can't score goals, and you don't bring this kid up? Uh. And well, he talks about identity on the fourth line. If you remember last year, at the beginning of last season, when the Habs were on that hot roll, the reason why, they were rolling four lines, and the fourth line could skate, they could score, they could do everything. It wasn't identity, they just rolled four lines. What confuses me that... Coaches love guys that go to the net and, and, and work hard. And it's not just at the net. He, he does puck battles. He's constantly winning puck battles and getting into guys' faces, you know, eating lumber. And that's what coaches usually love to mm -hmm. see. So it's confusing to me, uh, especially what Knuckles said. You want to be rewarded for working that hard, for riding the bus in the AHL. Mm -hmm. And right now, you know, might as well give him a shot, right? W what is there to lose? That's the way I look yeah, at, at it. Yeah, at this point. Okay, go to Hockey Inside Out now to check out our full episode of the week.